are so excited that confirmation is coming up so quickly. Um, between now and confirmation, what you need to be doing is praying, preparing. You need to set up a time to go to confession. You also need to find an outfit to wear for confirmation. For our women, you need something that will cover your shoulders, that will be a dress towards the length of your knees. You also cannot be showing anything on your chest or, or your bottom. Um, it also needs to be um, covering your midriff, so there shouldn't be any cut, cut out in the midriff area. We don't care what shoes you wear, but know that you're going to be doing a lot of walking, so you need to be shoes that you're comfortable and confident walking in. We also don't really care about color either, but please don't wear anything that's distracting or neon. You're coming to a sacrament, so wear something, wear something nice and respectful. For our men, um, wear nice slack pants. Is that how you say it? Nice slack pants and a button-down shirt with a tie. You don't need a suit jacket, but it adds a nice touch. Um, again, we don't care what shoes you wear, but they need to be nice dress shoes and no distracting colors. Also, men don't wear athletic socks. Make sure they're nice dress socks. If you're wearing black pants and black shoes, probably wear black socks and not white socks. We want you to look nice. Um, this is a great sacrament, and we need to look respectful and, and honoring to the sacrament. On your confirmation date, whether it's the 26th or the 30th, you will arrive at St. Michael's no earlier and no later than 6.30. We need you to be here at 6.30 so we know that you're here and we know that you can get a seat in the church. Once you arrive here at St. Michael's, you'll come straight to the narthex. If you are A through K, you'll be on this side of the church. If you are L through Z, you'll be on this side. Um, there'll be a table like this with name cards set out. You will grab your name card and then you'll head straight to your seat. Your name card um, will have your name, your sponsor's name, and your saint name on it. This will be the card that you give to the priest when your sponsor um, presents you to the bishop. Your sponsor will hold on to that card the whole night and give it to the priest when they present you to the bishop. Um, once you get into the church, each family has a pew to themselves. You'll need to sit candidate, sponsor, and the rest of the family in that pew. The candidate will be closest to the center aisle, and then the sponsor and the family will follow after that. At the conclusion of the gospel, as your pastor, I will invite those to be confirmed to please stand. The archbishop will greet you and congratulate you on this important step in your journey of faith. You will then be invited to be seated, and your sponsors will be invited to stand. The Archbishop will ask for their testimony on your behalf as to your readiness to be confirmed. They will then be seated. The homily will then take place. At the conclusion of the homily, the Archbishop will invite those to be confirmed to please stand and renounce Satan and all his works and all his empty show, and to renew your baptismal promises made for you at your baptism. Please respond to these invocations with gusto and zeal. I do. Then the sacrament of confirmation will be conferred. First, the archbishop will use the biblical gesture of the laying on of hands. He will lay hands over the whole group at once, calling down the Holy Spirit. If you listen carefully to the prayer that he prays, he will be asking that you receive the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit. You will then approach the archbishop individually with your sponsor for confirmation. Your sponsor should have their right hand on your right shoulder. Your sponsor will hand the card to the priest standing next to the archbishop. Your sponsor will introduce you. This is Brian, whose confirmation name is Anthony. The Archbishop will then confer the Sacrament of Confirmation by anointing your forehead with the oil of chrism while he says the words, Be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. You respond, Amen. The Archbishop will then say, Peace be with you. And your response is, And with your spirit. These are the two responses you need to remember. Amen and with your spirit. We ask that there's no photographs taken during the actual sacrament. While your student is being confirmed, we ask that you remain in your pew. I understand that you want to take pictures, you want to capture that moment. We just ask to be present in that moment. Out of respect for the sacrament and the archbishop, 
just um, remain seated, remember, remain in your pew during the actual sacrifice. At the end of the night, um, at the end of confirmation, there will be ushers that will escort each aisle out. And then you will go straight outside, and that's where the reception will be. You will have cookies and juice, and then you will enter into the school building where each student will have an opportunity to take a picture with the archbishop or the abbot that night. Um, if they're because of weather, um, we'll have pictures down in the parish hall. Congratulations on your confirmation. God bless you.